Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a virtual mouse using Python. So you have already seen a short demo of how this project will work. It has basically two functionality. First is the movement of the cursor, which is triggered by the hand movement. And second is clicking, which is triggered when your index finger and thumb touches. Okay. So let's start creating our project. Now, first task is to import the required library. Uh, now we have to import uh sorry we have to install two packages first is uh opencv python so open cmd and simply write pip install opencv python for me this requirement is already satisfied then what you have to do is uh, you have to install pip install media pipe so the second package is media pipe okay so this requirement is also satisfied for me now let's get to our editor so that we can see how we can create this project. Okay, so before we move ahead, let's have a word from our today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by an academy. Are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in software development? Then you have to think about these aspects like what's trending in the industry and the kind of questions being asked in the interview. What's the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zomato and Ola and how to improve your core chef ranking. So to achieve all these goals, what you need to do is you need to go to unacademy.com slash goals slash career as a software developer. I'll provide this link in the description. And first, let's talk about the host or the mentors of these courses. Now, these hosts are working with some of the top companies like Google, Amazon, to name a few. They are seven star coders on Code Chef and are industry experts with years of experience. And what they'll do is they'll walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they'll ask questions raised by you. Now this was about the mentors. Let's go to the live sessions and see what they have to offer for you. Now in these live episodes, you'll get an opportunity to ask tech HR about top 20 questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and multinational companies. What is the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great projects. And not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, blockchain and crypto, cloud computing, tech aspects of digital marketing, data analysis and many. Have you ever wondered about the hiring process of top startups and similar top multinational companies? Get to understand the A to Z recruitment process. Get some idea about the interesting project which they work on. If you want to understand the internal structure and work culture of top companies, this is the show for you. Now, what are the things that you will not find on YouTube and will find on these shows? You can hear directly from the companies, their HR and tech teams on what they are looking for in individual while acquiring people. Would you like to see some sample resume review? What is good and what doesn't work in profile for each organization? Also get to question answer directly from Anuj and your HR guest on each show. Now this show is in the format where Anuj will ask prominent HR leaders of tech industry and we'll get to understand the hiring process, structure of terms, key product offering and interesting projects being worked on by HRs while hosting the event. Now you must be thinking that you have to pay a hefty price for courses like this. But no, you have to pay 999 rupees per month to get access to all of these courses. But wait, there is more. If you use my code HARSHITROY, you will get an additional 10% off. Let me show you. You need to just write HARSHITROY and click apply and you will get an instant 100 rupees off. So all the links will be provided in the description. Definitely check them out and let's move on to our next project. Okay, so now we are into our edge dump. So first of all, let's import the required libraries. First is MediaPy. The short notation used here is MP. Then we have imported CV2, which is OpenCV. Then we have imported NumPy. And then we have imported a specific class of MediaPy, which is Landmark PB2. Now what this Landmark PB2 class will do is, it will help us find the specific Landmark coordinates of a specific uh, Landmark. 
let's say you want to know that what is the coordinate of your index finger so this class will be used for that task now i know this is making no sense for you right now but uh, let's move ahead with this project and uh, these things will make a lot more sense okay uh, then time and uh, we have imported maths sqrt function here because we need to calculate the distance between the two coordinates okay so we have to create a formula this is why we are calling the maths function also here then we have win32 api and pi auto ui for basically automating our cursor and our clicks okay so this was the importing part now let's uh, move to the second part which is calling a few classes so we have to call two classes here first is the drawing utils from mediapipe.solution and second is hands class from mediapipe.solutions so these are the two class instances that we'll be needing in our uh, project in the later end of our project then let's move ahead and take the input from our uh, webcam or from our video capturing device now there are multiple methods to take the input from the webcam i have multiple uh, projects or multiple videos on this uh, topic so what i'll do is i'll provide a link in the description you can check them out okay now for now you can forget this clicks it will be used in the later section of the video okay so after we have taken the input from our webcam what we are doing is we are having a width condition and uh, with this width condition we are calling the mediapipe.hands.hands class and uh, this hands class will have two parameters first is the minimum detection confidence in simple words this is the sensitivity of the hand feature detection so how sensitive is the detection of the features of your hand right now the values of uh, this parameter can vary with the lighting with the camera quality and the busyness of the background okay so 0.8 works for me and uh, it will work for majority of decent lighting okay and same goes for the second parameter which is for the minimum tracking sensitivity okay and this value is stored in this hands variable okay then uh, after that we are running a while loop that runs infinitely until a specific condition is met now here that specific condition is pressing you this is all the way over here i'll uh, explain you that uh, how this condition triggers the exit of this uh, while loop but for now just understand that this while loop is running continuously and giving the video feed to our program okay so while video is opened or while we are getting the stream from a webcam then we are using the dot read method of opencv to read the uh, input from a webcam and the data is stored in this frame variable okay then we are converting the bgr format of the video which is extracted from opencv into rgb format okay so opencv uses the format of bgr blue green red but media pipe uses rgb so for media pipe to work we have to convert the bgr format into rgb so this is why we are using the cvt color method calling this color bgr to rgb class to convert this uh, image from bgr to rgb okay then we are flipping our image and then we are calling the dot shape class to get the height and width of the frame now for this moment you can ignore this value okay we don't need these values for now it will be required in the later end of the program then we are using the process class from media pipe dot solution dot hands to process this image what is this image this image from a webcam okay and the result is stored in this results variable and after we got the results we don't need that uh, rgb value so what we'll do is we'll convert it back to bgr so that it can be again used by opencv now our first task is to draw the points on each of our hand landmarks so first task is uh, to draw these landmarks then the second task is uh, to get the coordinates of uh, each landmark not actually each but uh, we want only for the index finger and thumb and then the third is for clicking but let's uh, first see the drawing of the landmarks so if results dot multi hand landmarks now what this condition will confirm is there is a hand in the frame okay so if results dot multi hand landmarks so if there is a value this if condition will be true if this is none 
which will be true when there is no hand this condition won't run so if results dot multi hand landmark for num and hands in enumerates results dot multi hand dot landmarks now this will return basically three values first is the name of the coordinate what is the point of the coordinate whether it is the uh, thumb tape or thumb middle or thumb bottom or basically what is the coordinate name and the second is the coordinate x axis and third is coordinate y axis so these three value will be returned with this results dot multi hand landmark and stored in this hand variable then we are using the media pipe dot solution dot drawing utils dot draw landmarks and uh, it will have these parameters first is the image on which we'll uh, draw those points or draw those uh, landmarks then we'll have the values this hand variable then we have media pipe dot solution dot hands dot hand connection it will basically draw a line between two points so that they are basically connected okay then we are using the media pipe dot solution dot uh, drawing utils dot drawing specs these are the drawing specs first parameter here is the color the color of the point then we have the thickness of the point we are basically drawing circles right so what will be the thickness of the circle then we have what is the radius of the circle so these are the three parameters here then uh, after we have drawn the landmarks the next task is to get the uh, pixel coordinates of each uh, landmark uh, not exactly each we want uh, only for two first is uh, index finger and the second is thumb so that uh, index finger can be used for movement of the cursor and uh, index finger tip plus thumb tip can be used for clicking okay so once again if results dot multi hand dot landmarks is none if uh, this value is not empty if there is a hand in the frame for landmarks in results dot multi hand landmark so once again we are getting all the values those three values and then for point in media pipe dot solution dot hands dot hand landmark so we are basically extracting the landmark names then by using hand landmark dot landmark and the value here is point we are getting the normalized value or the normalized coordinates of each point or for each landmarks right and uh, what is this normalized value this is basically the screen ratio like the middle of the screen is 0.5 or the top of the screen is 0.0 and the bottom of the screen is uh, 0.1 of uh, the y axis right but we don't need the ratio we need the exact x and y coordinate to draw the points or to uh, automate our mouse action so what we'll do is we'll use the media pipe dot solution dot drawing utils dot normalize to pixel coordinates we'll use this class and uh, we'll provide four values here first is the normalized landmark dot x normalized landmark dot y this is the ratio x and y coordinates and then we have the width and height of our frame okay this is the width and height we have extracted here that i have told you that uh, we'll use it later on in this program then as we know this is of a specific data type and uh, we won't be able to use it so this is why we are converting it into string so that we can use it then we want two values here first is the index finger tip and second is the thumb tip so if point is equal to equal to hand landmark dot index finger tip what i'll do is on the right hand of the screen i'll place a list of all the landmarks names so that you can choose whichever one you want but i am using the index finger tip so if point is equal to equal to hand landmark dot uh, index finger tip then we'll store the zeroth value which is the first value into this index finger tip x so this will become the x coordinate and we'll do the same for y and then we'll use the win32 api dot set cursor position so we are using this library here set cursor position and what will be the value index finger tip into 4 now i am multiplying this by 4 or 5 so that by even a little movement from my hand the cursor can go to a bigger range because for me the movement is limited right the screen is uh, 640 by 480 so my hand movement is limited but the screen is much bigger in size so to increase my range 
I have multiplied by four and five. You can add the value according to your own. This was inside a try condition. We'll do except is just a pass. In case there is a error, I have added a try and accept condition here. We'll do the same for the thumb. And also, this was the part where we have uh, completed our first task, which is cursor movement using our hand action so as we move our index finger our cursor will also move okay then we'll extract the thumb finger tip x and thumb finger tip y this again will be inside a try and accept condition then what we'll do is we'll calculate the distance between the uh, index finger tip and the thumb finger tip okay so we'll use this formula this is why we have called the maths uh, class above so we'll use this formula here first square root inside index fingertip x minus thumb fingertip x to the power square or to the power 2 plus index fingertip x minus thumb fingertip x again square okay so square root of these values this will return the distance between index finger and thumb tip in terms of x we'll do the same for the y okay so here we got the distance between your index fingertip and thumb fingertip Okay, now if this distance is less than 5 unit, plus 5 or minus 5, what we want to do is, we want to click. We want the mouse to click. But we have a problem here. Now what this program is doing is, what this while loop is doing is, it is running multiple times, even within a second. So, let's say that the user snaps the fingers and the distance between the X and Y is less than 5 but as our program is running very fast as this while loop is running very fast what will happen is we'll get multiple clicks and we don't want that now i don't know what is the orthodox method to uh, rule this problem out but uh, i've figured out a jugad method so what i've done is i have created a click variable or you can create any variable here after each of this condition being true, so for each iteration of this loop, the fingertips are near to each other, we'll increase the click by one value. And this pi to gy will click only when the click is in the multiple or is in the factorial of 5, like 5, 10, 50. So it will decrease the number of clicks and from my observation if you simply touch the fingers and move them away it usually clicks only once. Okay so yeah this jugad is working for me. So if click is module of 5 then we'll use pi auto gy dot click. Now you must be wondering that why haven't I used this pi auto gy for the cursor movement also. So I was actually using pi auto gui for this task also but uh, pi auto gui was resulting a sluggish feed i don't know why it was returning a sluggish feed so i have to use this alternative win32 api for this uh, so okay this task is also done our program is almost done what we have to do is we have to return the output stream or the output to the user using this cv2.im show then we are creating the exit condition here using the cv2.wait key of the order queue so when the user presses this queue button this break condition is executed or this exit condition is executed after that video dot release and cv2 dot destroy all window so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that i can create a virtual mouse using python so just comment down below that what features you want me to add this program or what next program you want me to create related to this topic this uh, media pipe topic okay so meet you in my next lecture Bye-bye.